There had never been a sneaker brand founded in Brooklyn, which was really surprising. Like at some point in history over Brooklyn, something of like there was an oil company here, like Standard Oil got founded in Brooklyn. There was pharmaceuticals, automobiles, beer. Everything came from here at one point, but never a sneaker company. So here we are. stand for value and quality, and we're able to offer a premium quality product at a value price by not wholesaling. A couple of us got kind of headhunted out of Puma to try and save Case Swiss, another brand, and I became the head of lifestyle marketing there. And after doing that for two really big companies, I was like, I need to do this for myself. Like, I, I think, you know, like, why am I doing this for this organization when I should just own my own? It was becoming really clear that, like, the model of traditional wholesale was completely broken and basically because of the inefficiency like the customer pays more money than they need to so we have two categories made in italy and made in asia and made in asia is more sporty younger um, more accessibly priced and made in italy is more luxury we call it accessible aspiration we use the same factories the same material providers the, the same sole providers as all the luxury brands do. There's one region in Italy where most of the luxury sneakers are made. We make it in that area. We're on Fire Island, and specifically we're on Ocean Beach. And we spent our entire summers on Fire Island growing up. <clears throat> and it's a pretty interesting place because you can only get here by boat. It's a beach lifestyle, like, and people don't realize like we're only 40 miles out from, from Manhattan. The more reference points you have, the more knowledgeable you are about a bunch of different cultures, I think that makes you a better brand, I think that makes you a better designer, and I think we kind of have that built into our DNA. This shoe, the upper is premium Italian leather. I mean, it's, it comes from some of the best suppliers in the, in the country. And then we line it with what is called Vichetta Calf, and Vichetta Calf is what like Chanel makes their bags out of. So, Actually, the lining is more expensive than the leather, which is crazy. And when we went to the factories and we're like, oh, we want to line the whole thing in Viketa Calf, they're like, what? That's kind of what luxury brands do. And we're like, yeah, we know. And they were like, yeah, but you want to price it at this. And I'm like, yeah, but this is how we're going to do it. I know if we cut these things in half, like every other one of our competitors that sells it for $500 is going to basically have the exact same level of material, except this one's going to be $200. And like the simplicity of that sounds like that can't be, that can't be, that can't be because we're so told like, oh, the more you pay, the better it is. And like that may have been true at some point, but today it's not. And this is kind of proof of, of that. <laughs> I mean, there's pros and cons to doing things the way we knew it. The pros are we get to give you guys a better product for less. The cons are, you know, it's hard to get more people aware of your brand when you're just one website. By not selling to a retailer, we literally are saving you at least half. Our business couldn't exist pre-internet. Like the internet is a distribution channel. Like you can make things and sell it. And if you do that, and that's the majority of your business and you're not relying on third party retailers, and then you can have a super disruptive business, whatever you're selling. So the internet is the reason. And then it's like social media. It's like shit, like people spend all day on Instagram. And right now we're about to beta test a click to buy button on Instagram where you'll see the picture and you'll click the button to buy and you'll be able to just buy it. That's, that didn't exist like yesterday. All of those things, man, have, have changed the world and allow greats to be greats.